This is the Draft X-Ray One Year Draft Rewind 2021 for the Carolina Panthers. Be sure to hit subscribe so you won't miss out on any of the draft or team videos that we've got coming. First up, J.C. Horn, the cornerback out of South Carolina. A bit of a surprise because most people had Carolina taking a left tackle, but they went a different direction. He proved in the three games he was able to play that he has that shutdown ability. But unfortunately, he broke his foot, but he flashed the ability of a top 10 pick. He had an AVD of one because of the three games. Terrace Marshall, wide receiver out of LSU, was the second pick of the Carolina Panthers. Now, they traded back several times. This is part of those five trades that the, the that Scott Fitterer made. Now, Terrace looks like he has lots of potential, uh, a bit of a medical history that is troubling, and he was injured some throughout the season. He's got the potential, all the potential in the world. He had an AVD of one and was in 13 games this past season as a rookie. The Panthers finally drafted an offensive lineman, Brady Christensen, out of BYU. And I say offensive lineman. He played left tackle exclusively at BYU. You. But as it turns out, Matt Rule and apparently the coaches on staff feel like he's a better guard than tackle simply because of his arm length. He has short arms for a left tackle in the NFL. That being said, he had a pretty good year when he was able to get in the game and ended up with an AVD of three and played in 16 games. In the third round, the Panthers went with Tommy Tremble, tight end out of Notre Dame. He had an AVD of one. He played in 16 games. He was solid, but Panther fans are hoping he progresses a little bit more in year two. In the fourth round, after a trade back, the Panthers went with Matt Rule's man crush, Chuba Hubbard, running back out of Oklahoma State. Chuba actually had a pretty good rookie campaign after Christian McCaffrey went down. Uh, he ended up with an AVD of five and played in all 17 games and at times flashed that breakaway speed that he was famous for coming out of Oklahoma State. The Panthers had two picks in the fifth round. The first, Davion Nixon, defensive tackle out of Iowa. He was injured, only played in seven games, so his AVD was zero, but he flashed that ability at times that had many pegging him as being selected much higher than the fifth. The second fifth round selection for the Panthers was Keith Taylor, cornerback out of Washington. He had an AVD of two, played in all 17 games, and by all reports, the Panthers are really happy with him. With three picks in the sixth round, the Panthers started with Deontay Brown, guard out of Alabama. Deontay only got in three games, therefore had an AVD of zero, but he came into the league with a bit of a weight problem, he spent most of his rookie campaign getting himself into shape. Deontay was also injured during the season. With their second pick in the sixth round, the Panthers selected Shai Smith, wide receiver out of South Carolina. Now, he was injured, only played in six games. Are you sensing a theme here? So he ended up with an AVD of one and did flash at times. So the Panthers are optimistic that year two could be a bigger jump for him. The Panthers' last pick in the sixth round was Thomas Fletcher, long snapper out of Alabama. He also was injured, didn't get in any games, and so therefore ended up with an AVD of zero. So there's not much to say, and even if he wasn't injured, uh, he's a long snapper, so... With their last pick in the draft, the Panthers selected Phil Hoskins, defensive tackle out of Kentucky. He also was injured. So yeah, like I said, it's a bit of a theme with this draft class. He only played in three games, therefore only had an AVD of zero. But as with many of the players, especially the injured ones, he flashed uh, enough ability at times where the Panthers were uh, happy. He was a bit of a raw prospect coming in anyway, so we'll see how big of a jump he can take in year two. I thought it'd be fun to take that AVD number and add it up for each draft class and see where it ranks in the NFL. For the Panthers, that total number was 14, and that ranks them 23rd in the NFL, second in the NFC South, behind Atlanta Falcons and ahead of the Saints and the Buccaneers. If you then take that number 14 and divide it by each draft pick, you come up with 1.3, which is an average per pick. That comes out 29th. And if you look at it that way, it's third in the division, with the Falcons at 11, the New Orleans Saints at 17, and the Buccaneers at 30. Scott Fitterer's first draft with the Carolina Panthers as GM reminded me of that 80s movie Gremlins, where at the beginning of the draft, he just took all the draft picks he had and he started feeding them after midnight and getting them wet, and they just started multiplying left and right. And for Panther fans, hopefully what you'll end up with is a fierce little gremlin and not this gremlin. But so far, so good, and only time will tell. At the end of the 2021 draft weekend, if you'd asked a Panther fan to give you one word to describe their team's draft, uh, I think trades would be a pretty good candidate. If, however, you asked the Panthers fan at the end of the rookie year for that draft class, I think injuries would be towards the top of that list. And that really is the story of this 2021 Panther class. They all seem to have the abilities they were drafted for. Uh, they flashed at times. It's always difficult to tell after just one year, but especially when so much of that year was marred by injury. You can find more information on the Carolina Panthers page on the Draft X-Ray website. This includes information about last year's draft as well as the upcoming draft. There's also a special section for Panthers media coverage, and this includes everything from the beat writers to the best Twitter follows, podcasts, and YouTubers. And if you don't see someone that should be on that list, reach out and I'll add them. Today, we're going to spotlight two YouTube channels that cover the Panthers. The first is the Panther Nation podcast, or PNP, the Rashad and Dave show. They do a great job of covering the team and the draft as we roll around to draft season. And the four-man rush, which is another great channel to watch if you're a Panthers fan or really just a fan of the NFL in general.
Thanks for watching and be sure to hit subscribe and like. We'll be back soon with the next team in the draft review series.